But before we do so, <laughs> sorry, need to re uh, I need to um, rewind here. You know what? Sorry about that. Let me rewind again. Hey everyone, there is the Tech House, and today I'm bringing you another roll and write. Today I will be playing Argyle. Um, this is part of a little collection that is currently up on Kickstarter that is called Planes, Trains, and Argyle Roll and Write Revolution. I will put a link to that in the description. Also, you should see it on screen right now. Um, and this collection has three games, and I plan to cover two of them. Um, this is not the final state. Um, the game sheet here and also the rules. I received these are the prototype rules and the prototype game sheet for now so um the finished product will look different just so that you're aware of that um and also i will play of course the solo version which is a little bit different to the multiplayer version the multiplayer version um each player picks a different die and then they work with that and then there's also leftover die um in the solo version you will just pick one die two are removed you will pick another one and then you have a leftover die and with that you work so what do we do um here's this argyle pattern and we are trying to fill that so we do have two columns here with a one at the top this is where we can only place a one or we will denote that by an x and in these columns we can put other colors as you can see and we always get points for connected diamonds and also if the numbers are the same for these three columns here but that will become clear when i start playing so why don't we start playing so in the solo game how this works is you oops you roll all the dice and then um, you pick one of them and then the highest and the lowest number are removed and then you pick another die and then you have two dice to work with um, but before we do so, <laughs> sorry, need to re uh, I need to um, rewind here. First, you roll one die, and then you take the second column here, and you count that many spaces, so one, two, and we put an X here, which means that this is a one, right? We just put an X here for clarity's sake, and this is where we start, and now we roll our dice. So there we go. Okay, I actually like the other one a little bit more, and now, now we can place dice. So you see here that um, we can um, take one of these connected spaces. Um, spaces are connected if they are in diagonal, so they share the same line to the other to the other space. So um, see, we see here. Here we can put put two, three, fours, two, three, five, six, and four, five, six here. We need to put it someplace here um, in one of these two columns here because that's neighboring to that x. We can't reach that yet there. So um, why don't we? Well, the four we could only put there and there. So why don't we take a four? So I will take the four here, put that just here. So we can work with that in just a minute. Let me put it up here. And then we will remove the highest and the lowest number. And then I will take another die. And then let's take maybe a five over here, right? Because, because it does not matter how high the number is. It just depends that we put the same numbers here. So I would just take the five for now. And that is the leftover die. All right, so now we can put the numbers in here. So I would put a four in this column here and a five in, well, let's put the four first and now we score. Now we look at that number and, and now for the four, we count all the connected axes. Um, that's one point each and also we get another point for all fours that are connected somehow in this grid So right now we only have that one X. So that is a score of one and Then um, we put in the five here I will put that on the right here and same thing we do have one X in that grid So that's another point about no five. So that's one and one and all together that is two points for the first round um, and now we continue the game. Um, the game is over as soon as I have filled one of these columns without a one, like um, column one, three or five. As soon as one of them is completely filled, then I'm done with the game. So let's see. Um, okay, so we definitely want more fours, right? Um, so let's see, we could put another four here. That wouldn't be too bad, right? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll take a four, and then the six and the three will be removed, and then, um, hmm, I can't put another four there because they're not connected diagonally, but um, I could just take any die. Let's just take the three, for example, 
and then I can take use one of these powers, which I will speak about now. So you see, we have powers here that I can use at any time. So I could change a die, uh, one of my dice to one, or to match an opponent. That's these dice that I took away. Let me just put them up here so you can see them. Um, I can swap one of my dice with the leftover die over here. Um, that is pretty good in a multiplayer game. Um, in a single player game, probably doesn't help too much. And we can flip one of our dice to the opposite side, which is also not bad. And we can reroll one or both of our dice. So this is not too bad, but for now what I will do is I will use the four and put the four um, in here. And now I get one point for that X and another point for, that two, for the four in that grid, right? As long as we can get to that diagonally. So that's two, two points here. And the three, well, either we choose the power here to change it to a one, I think that's maybe not too bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use that power here and change that to a one and let's put it um, down here. We have more space down here. Okay. And with the one now, you see that um, there's another one, two, three, four diamonds connected. And now we see here that um, if we go there and then there, there's another one, another X diagonally connected. So let's, that's another point here for that one. And then that's three points together. All right, so let's reroll everything. Let me put it a little bit down here, maybe like this. Okay, so let's see. Another four would be great, but also we need to move into that direction here, right? So maybe we'll take a five. Then the six and the two will be removed, and then we take the four like this. So um, let's put in the five first. Let's put it down here. So and now we have we have an X, we have another five and another X. That is three points. So you see, we always get a little bit more points because of the grid we are working on here. And the four I will put down here. And you see two X's and two fours. So that is four points. That is seven. Okay, but we need to be careful. We need to move a little bit more to the right now because otherwise I will finish one of these columns and the game is already over, right? But we wanna try to finish as late as possible to get more points. That is pretty important. So um, we should start maybe with sixes here on the right, but we also need a one. So I think what I will do is take a six, then these two will be removed here. And then I will take, doesn't really matter, five over four, like this for example. But actually, no, I will do it differently. Let me rewind that. I will take a four, then these two will be removed and it will take a five. I will continue with these two columns for now. No, I can't do that either. I can't get to the four because I'm not diagonally connected. You know what? Sorry about that. Let me rewind again. I will take the six. Then as I said, these two will be removed and then I will take a five or a four, it doesn't matter. What I will do now is I will use that power again to change that five into a one like this. And then we can put it here And then you see if we go diagonally through our grid that there are two X's here. So that's two points. And then also we will use the six and I will put that, let's put it right in the middle here, six. And then we see diagonally we have three different X's again, but no six, so that is only five points. All right. So also, as I mentioned, the rules are still in a prototype state, so it's possible that I'm getting a few rules wrong. I hope not. Um, I'll try my best to do it as correctly as possible, but this might give you a little insight into how the game generally works. So if that's interesting for you for backing the Kickstarter project. Um, the multiplayer version of that, of course, is much more exciting because you get to share the dice and everything. Okay, so let's see. We can't put a four here, we need ones first. We are really unlucky with our ones. Um, so we don't have a one, we don't we don't have anything. So you, you know what, I'm just gonna take a four and then these two will be removed and I will take another four. And then I think I will, 
what I will do is I will reroll both of my dice and hope we get a one at least. No, we don't, but hmm. Okay, then I will put the five in here for sure. In here, I mean, like this. And then we get for the three X's, we get three points for the two fives. We get another two points, so that's five points. And then we have the three here. With the three, I can't really do anything, but I will use my last power to change it to a one. Uh, right there and put that here so we open up a little bit more to the right here and that would be another three points for that one that's eight points that's our best score so far i think i need a new pen soon okay and then we will continue we don't have a whole lot of these powers here anymore so let's see six is good i will definitely take these six then the five and the two will be removed. And then, well, that's going to be tough now. I'll take the two for now, and then we will see what happens. All right, so the six, I can put that in here diagonally. That's fine. We have four X's in our grid and one six, so that's five points. And then we have the two. So, hmm. What I might have to do is re-roll it because, you see, um, we can only put in the one column everywhere, right? Well, we could put a six here. That would work, but we don't have a six. So I will re-roll and hope that we can get something good. That's a four. That is not good because we can't put it in these columns. So I will have to put it in this column here. That's the only place I can put it. That's pretty bad. We do have ones here. That is great. We definitely needed ones. So I will take one of these, then these two will be removed here, and I will take another one. And then, oh, I didn't take the points for the four here. Well, um, actually, we have our grid. In our grid, we have three fours here, and also four Xs, so that is seven points. That's actually not bad. So now we have the two ones. So I will, uh, I don't know if we go up or down, probably doesn't matter. Let me go down. So I'll put one X here, which will give us four points and put another X here, which will give us five points. So that's nine points together. Okay, not too bad. Good. So as soon as we finish one of these columns here, of these three, one, three, or five, then the game is over and we need to tally up our points. All right, we do definitely need a few more ones, but we have a, we can use a six here, which is great. Let's do that. And then the five and the three will be removed and we will take a four. So we put the six in here. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. And for the four, we will put that in here and we will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. So you see, we get more and more points, but we don't have a whole lot of powers left. And well, we'll have to see how that will affect us. All right, I'm definitely gonna take a one. Then the six and the two are removed. And then well, and then we have an issue because the six up here doesn't really help us anymore, but I will still take the six, I think. Oh, but then we finish the game. And I'd rather get a few more points. So I'll then take the three, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Okay, so the one we will put in here. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six points we get. And then the three I will just put in here. Like this. And then for that we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. But that's it, no, because we have no three in our grid. And that is 13. So I got a different pen now, so now it works better. I definitely need to replace the old pen. All right, so that is done. Okay, so that's probably gonna be one of our last rolls here. 
I suppose at least. So we don't have a one, that is bad. Um, we can put a five down here, that is great. So I'm gonna take a five. Then the five and the two are removed. And then another five up there. But then we would be done. But that's, pre but that's pretty much all we can do. So that's fine. So I will put a five down here. And that will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. That's quite a lot. And then the other five I will put up here, which should give us then eleven points, right? Three, six, nine, eleven, right? Which is then twenty-one. And that is the end of the game because we've. All right, um, I just made a little mistake. I continued the game, although I already finished one of these columns here, right? So, sorry about that. So. Our game is done because we finished one of these of columns one, three, and five. We finished that one here. So that is our end score. So we will just tally all of these points up, and that's our end score then. So that's 5, 17, 5, 37, 46, 56, 53, 66, 76, right? I hope I didn't calculate that incorrectly. If I did, I just put it in the subtitles. And that is it. That is our score. I can't tell you whether that's good or not because in the prototype version of the rules, there is no score ranking yet. Um, but I think 76 is quite okay. I think we did quite well. Um, what could have gone better is having here, having a four in here, because I would also receive now points for a symmetry, for example, like four, five, six, five, four, or for alternating patterns, like five, four, five, four, five, for example, and also for all the same numbers in a column. But um, we only have one finished column and that one doesn't have a pattern, so we don't get any more points. So having a four in here would have been perfect because we would have gotten even more points because of the four, first of all, right? The four would have given us a few more points, quite a few more points even. And then also we would have a better pattern here, but we didn't manage that. So um, 76 is what we will have to live with. But I suppose if we have, would have had the four, I think like we could have reached around maybe 90 points, maybe even a little bit more. All right, so that was my playthrough of Argyle. That is part of the Planes, Trains, and Argyle Roll and Ride Revolution collection currently on Kickstarter. I will put a link to that in the description as usual. And then you can decide whether or not you like the game. I will also publish another game from that collection um, also this week. So you can also take a look at that when that comes out. All right, and thank you very much for watching. In case you're still doing so, I highly appreciate that. If this is the first of my videos you are watching, then why don't you head over to my channel and say hi. There are quite a lot of other board gaming videos there. I'd love to see you there. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right, take care, everyone, and cheers.